All right, chocolate. Everybody loves it. And if you've been following my channel or have read any of my books, you know it's not off limits. There are actually some great benefits to eating dark chocolate, and it's mostly all thanks to their polyphenol content. In fact, one study showed that chocolate contains more polyphenols than these potent superfruits, even blueberries and asahi berries. But you can't just eat any old candy bar. Always remember, more bitter, more better. That's because polyphenols are bitter. So look for chocolates that are at least 72% cacao and no milk additives. It turns out that years ago, the Dutch figured out how to treat chocolate with alkali to bind the polyphenols, which eliminated the bitterness. And that's where dutching of chocolate comes from. And a lot of times you'll still see cocoa powders, which sound great, but if you read the label carefully, it'll say Dutch processed or treated with alkali. Stay away from that. The polyphenols have been completely inactivated. Same way with milk chocolate. Milk will bind the polyphenols and will not make them available to you. Okay, with that in mind, let's talk about some of the benefits of dark chocolate. First of all, dark chocolate can help your body produce nitric oxide, which plays an important role in protecting heart and vein flexibility and health. And if you've read any of my books, getting more nitric oxide in you is really beneficial to the flexibility of your blood vessels. In fact, there's a saying in longevity that you are only as young as your blood vessels are flexible. And I measure blood vessel flexibility in my patients and have even documented that the addition of polyphenols dramatically improves flexibility in blood vessels because of this process. Now, dark chocolate also contains another class of polyphenols called flavonoids. These are really powerful polyphenols that can help reduce inflammation and also improve the health of your blood vessels. Now, here's a surprise. Cacao, dark chocolate, comes from cocoa beans that have been fermented. And if you've read my last couple of books, including Gut Check, you know that fermentation is the way of producing polyphenols that are much more activated and absorbable. So the fermentation of cocoa beans to produce cocoa is potentiating the absorption of these polyphenols. And it also has postbiotics from the fermentation process. So it's a win-win. The more of these fermented foods that you eat, including chocolate, the better you're going to be. Now, what's really exciting is some of the new evidence about how chocolate improves brain health. Now, ever notice that when you're feeling sad or stressed, you usually reach for chocolate? You know why? It turns out that particularly dark chocolate contains various compounds, including phenylethylamine, which is abbreviated P, P-E-A, has nothing to do with P protein, folks, and serotonin precursors, which affect the level of neurotransmitters in the brain. These substances actually promote feelings of pleasure and happiness and potentially improving your mood and reducing symptoms of stress, anxiety, and depression. It's true. That's why you reach for chocolate in times of stress. But remember, it's one thing to reach for chocolate when you're stressed, and it's quite another to reach for chocolate for the sugar content because you may get a lift from the sugar, but then you'll crash and feel even worse. And that's why it's so important to remember more bitter, more better, even when it comes to chocolate. Now, flavonoids in dark chocolate have been associated with improved blood flow to the brain, 
even the promotion of new neuron growth and neuron connection, and they also protect brain cells from damage caused by inflammation and oxidative stress. In fact, Believe it or not, some of the best studies on the effects of flavonoids and polyphenols in chocolate were conducted by the Mars Corporation. Yes, the candy bar company. And they've found that these polyphenols in chocolate dramatically improve brain function. In fact, they and others make cocoa-based supplements that have been shown in human clinical trials to improve memory. So the next time you really want to study up for a test, think about having some dark chocolate to go with whatever else you're eating. The other thing that I like to do to kind of potentiate the benefit of dark chocolate is to make yourself kind of a Hershey's Crunch Bar or a Nestle's Crunch Bar or a Hershey's Crackle Bar Take a piece of extra dark chocolate, I prefer 85% or above, get yourself some cocoa nibs. Now these are the whole bits of cocoa beans that have been fermented. Put them on your one ounce piece of chocolate and then eat them together. So you'll get a crunch that you're looking for, but you'll also get a direct hit from these uh, cocoa nibs. It's a great trick. Please buy the organic cocoa nibs. They're readily available. Finally, skin health. Uh, I remember as a teenager when I had acne, the first thing my dermatologist told me was no more chocolate. Chocolate causes pimples. Well, believe it or not, we were wrong. Now, they were sort of right. It was the sugar in chocolate that was the problem. But in fact, uh, cacao and cocoa polyphenols actually benefit the skin. Compounds in chocolate have been found to help your skin uh, protect itself from UV rays. And many of you heard one of my favorite sayings is, I don't use sunscreen, I eat my sunscreen. And one of the compounds I use as my sunscreen is eating polyphenols. There's even evidence that chocolate polyphenols improve skin texture, increase skin density, and plump up your skin. But of course, moderation is the key. You can't sit and have a giant bar of chocolate every day. Get yourself a one ounce piece of extra dark chocolate. Do my trick of putting the cocoa nibs on top of it and kind of work your way up. Start with 72% or better and get used to that bitterness and you'll find it's easy then to go to 80, 85, 90. In fact, there's even some 100% cacao bars out there that taste pretty good once you get used to the bitterness. We'll leave you with that. Chocolate is your friend in moderation. It helps your brain. It helps your mood. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. Let me show you a way I like to do the olive oil chocolate polyphenol stack. To do this stack, I use four ingredients. Heart Defense, my new high-grade heart health chocolate powder. Unsweetened coconut milk. 